Hello, my name is Avery, and I'm a student at Ritsu Meikan Asia Pacific University. Today, I will be your guide to Oita Prefecture. Can you see this building behind me? This is Oita Airport. Oita Airport is the air gateway to Oita Prefecture. It is located on the shore of the Kunisaki Peninsula. Here, you can find one of the best views of the sunrise in Japan. And the area is also recognized by UNESCO as a globally important agricultural heritage site. Oita Airport serves multiple daily flights from major metropolitan areas such as Tokyo, Nagoya, and Osaka, making it a very convenient way to visit Oita Prefecture. Well, at first glance, Oita Airport may just seem like another regular regional airport. Very big changes are coming soon. Recently, Oita Prefecture has signed a partnership which allows for it to conduct space launches at this very same airport. Virgin Orbit, the US-based company that Oita Prefecture partners with, has developed a system to launch rockets horizontally using a specialized aircraft. This could open the door for satellite launches as well as possibly space travel in the future. The fact that no massive investment is needed to reconstruct the airport for space launches is amazing. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly can I do in Oita Prefecture until the first commercial space flight commences? Whoa! You've been following me today, haven't you? Where are you from? You're... you're from... space? You came down and blew up? Are you okay? You crash landed here. Uh, no, you're hungry. Well, luckily for you, you crash landed in Oita Airport. And here we have a bunch of really good space foods for you to try out. This is the Space Food Souvenir Corner. You can find here popular Japanese foods made into foodstuffs suitable for astronauts. All right, so looks like we have all of our food here. I'm a little bit hungry as well right now. Would you mind if I take a little bit of a bite first? It's okay, thank you so much. All right, so looks like we have some space curry right here. It actually says it's made for astronauts. So right here, space food. That's pretty interesting. So, oh, it's like a gel consistency. Um, yeah, try feeling that. All right, I guess I'll try. It tastes like what you would think astronaut curry would taste like. It is. Oddly addicting, very good. After having some of that curry, I think my throat is a little bit parched, a little bit spicy. I guess next up on our list to help quench that thirst would be some astronaut's water. Now, I don't know if this is different than regular earth water, maybe you would, but uh, I don't know, bottoms up. Absolutely tasteless water. <laughs> so you get a little bit of a drink there. It's bread, but it's in a can, not, I mean, it's what I expected, but also not. <laughs> this is, uh, it smells delicious. What do you think about that? Good, good, all right. So it looks like a regular pastry or bread on the inside and, hmm, honestly, not bad at all. That's very good. Good job, here you go. Have some more. <laughs> Why don't we try some space pudding, or at least what we think on Earth would be a good space pudding. It's in like a block, like an ice cube. All right, let's take a bite. Mm. It tastes exactly like pudding. I'm slightly horrified, but also like very intrigued as well at the same time. So if you know anything about takoyaki, you would know that takoyaki is typically a round ball. Or actually, it looks a lot like the real thing. So it looks exactly like a real takoyaki without the sauce. Let's see what this tastes like. You're not gonna believe me, but honestly, this might have been one of the best ones out of everything so far. It tastes exactly, it's like, they made takoyaki and just turned it into like a snack that you can 
eat out of a bag, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm eating takoyaki out of a bag. I think this is a revolutionary breakthrough. I think we should adopt this everywhere. Very good. For the next time you decide to visit Oita, there's one last thing I wanted to show you. There will be a new hovercraft line connecting Oita Airport to Oita City. Currently, by bus or car, it takes around 60 minutes to get to the city. However, with this new hovercraft line, that time will go down to around just 30 minutes. That's a reduction of half the time. Hovercraft ceased to operate in Japan in 2009. As of now, in the whole world, there's only one line still in operation, which is in the UK. The nostalgia comeback would make Oita's hovercraft line one of only two in the world, and the only in Asia. This is the design of the hovercraft terminal at Oita Airport. And this is the design of the terminal on the Oita city side, which is located in West Oita. There's more to do here than just getting on a hovercraft. Since the hovercraft still isn't available yet, let's go to Oita using the most popular method. Let's go. Using buses can take you not only to major areas such as Beppu, Oita, and Yufuin, but also other tourism destinations such as Kitsuki, Nakatsu, and Uski, like we introduced in previous videos. Today, we saw many interesting things surrounding Oita's new spaceport project. What would you like to see be added to Oita as part of this new space business development? Let us know your ideas in the comment section below, and perhaps Oita Prefecture might make your ideas into a reality. Let's go! Thank you for watching Explore Oita Japan.